Welcome to the world of Twin telecommunication. In this video, I'm going to explain how to backup and how to restore configuration of Twin NetStar. NetStar is a platform, and this platform can be used as a GSM gateway, PBX booster, or just a PBX. In this video, I will explain why we use online and offline mode in configuration tool, how to backup PBX configuration, and of course, how to upload the configuration to the PBX. Let's open our configuration tool. We have created a group and PBX connection, and you see two connections, offline and online. Why we use it? To answer this question, let's go to the properties of the connection. Right click, select properties, and you see the name of this connection and of course the folder. Let's copy the link now let's open the folder I will go to my computer and paste this link into the field now I see this folder is empty okay let's go back to our configuration tool Now I would like to select offline mode. Let's do it. And connect. Now we are connected, but we are not connected to PBX. You can see this configuration is empty. We don't have anything. Let's use this button to synchronize the database with the PBX. Now we are connecting to PBX. You can see we have one option. Load from PBX. That means the configuration from PBX will be downloaded to your computer. Now the configuration is being downloaded. Let's wait. Now we have a configuration on our PC. Let's go to the hardware and boards. You see the actual physical configuration of our NetStar. Let's disconnect. Why we disconnect it? Because if we change something, if we save it, so all the settings will be applied immediately to PBX, but we don't want it right now. That is why we disconnect it. Now you can do anything and all configuration will be saved on your PC only. Now let's go back to our folder. You see we have a file. So this file contains our configuration and this file was downloaded from the PBX. Let's connect again. Okay, now I'm going to change something. I would like to save it and of course these settings will be applied and saved on my PC, but not on the PBX. For example, let's select the router. I will add the row and uh, I will write down, for example, ABC. Now I'm going to save it. Remember, it was saved on my PC, on my computer. Now let's synchronize it and we will see what happened. You see, we have three options. The first option, move changes. That means that all the changes that you made right now will be applied immediately to PBX, not the whole configuration, only changes. The second option, you know this, configuration will be downloaded. And the third option, save to PBX, that means that the whole configuration everything from your computer will be saved to PBX. That means, for example, if you have a PBX after factory reset and it doesn't contain any configuration, so the configuration file from your computer will be uploaded to the PBX. Okay, I have selected the first option. Now, all the changes will be applied to our PBX. OK, 
Okay, let's disconnect. And let's connect online. We're connecting. And let's go back to the routers. So you see everything what we changed were applied to our Pavex, to our current configuration. Okay, let's make a conclusion. We know why we use online and offline modes. Of course, we know how to backup a VX configuration to our computer. And we know how to upload our configuration file from the computer to our PBX. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.